Hello stormwater designers, welcome back to this EPA swim training series. We're on to part 12, I believe, and we've been going through the sample projects here. Next one up is the inlets and street drainage. Um, like I said, I'm going to be modeling this in real time. Let's just see what they're going to have us do and what features we can explore here uh, in EPA swim. I've done 11 videos up until this point covering all the basics of EPA swim. If you're interested in that, you should check that out. It's uh, the playlist is in the description. Start watching those to get caught up with this video. Okay, so let's get into this one. This is inlet and street drainage model. This example illustrates how to model street inlets with swim. The same 39 acre study area used in the sample site drainage model uh, will be analyzed here. Instead of using only surface swales and culverts to convey runoff off of the sites, a series of streets and below ground sewers have been added. There are five street conduits that run through subcatchments S1, S2, and S7. Four of these contain inlet drains that divert captured street runoff flow into a system of below ground sewer pipes, P1 to P8. To gain a better understanding of how the model is set up, select the streets category from the project browser and view the properties of the two types of street cross sections made available to the model. Okay, here, so project browser, let's see if we can find, this would probably be in hydraulics. Maybe not. The streets category. Okay. Oh, here we go. Streets, half street, full street. So here's what the half street looks like. Here's what the full street looks like here. So we get a view of these cross sections and their parameters. Open the property editor for street one. And by selecting to edit its shape property, you can see which street, uh, street cross section design was assigned to it. Do the same thing for street five and note it was assigned a different type of street cross section. Okay, so let's go to street one. Here we go, S1. trying to find street one here let's see map labels oh street one here we go conduit street one so we can see there some of its properties or even edit edit those and same thing for uh, street five they have different properties there okay um, now see what inlet designs have been defined for the project by selecting the inlets category from the project browser. Okay, let's look at inlets here. Combo inlet, we can see there. Uh, there is just one design available whose properties can be viewed by selecting to edit it. So that's what I did here. We can see its properties, combination, a grate, and then a curb opening for that one. Next, to see how inlets have been assigned to streets by using street three as an example. Bring it into the property editor, select the inlets property and click the ellipses button. Okay, so let's find street three here. I want to find street three. Go to property editor, okay. Select the inlets property and click the ellipses button. Okay, inlets. Okay, we can view that there. Uh, an inlet usage editor will appear where you can see that the combo inlet design has been assigned to it whose capture flow is sent to node J2A. If the display link symbols map option is in effect, an inlet symbol will appear on the streets conduit as well as will a dotted line between the conduit's downstream node and inlet's capture node. Run the model for the two-year design storm event and view the street flow table in the summary report. Note that the maximum spread of runoff across the site's street ranges from 5 to 10 feet. If the allowable spread to maintain traffic safety was the width of one lane, which is 10 feet for the streets in this project, then this arrangement of inlets would be unacceptable. Okay, so let's run it. Run was successful. Report summary. Let's look at uh, streets, street flow, and it says here, 
Note that the maximum spread of the runoff across the site's streets ranges from 5 to 10 feet. Um, it never goes over 10 feet, so it looks like it is acceptable. But this one gets quite close at 9.7. So that's the street and inlets project. Let me know if you have any questions down below, and we'll see you guys in the next EPA Swim video.